Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it has been forever since I've hung out with you guys. I haven't done like a day in the life or anything where I'm like doing things and showing you in forever. So I have missed that. I have missed hanging out with you guys. And today is gonna be kind of a video like that, but I wanted to chat with you guys about a few things first. You may have noticed behind me, these awesome homeschool shelves that my dad and my husband built recently. Um, I'm gonna show you the whole process of this because I filmed it all and so it happened a few days ago so i will in a minute show you the whole process of that i'm not going to show you like how he built it and all of that because i honestly have no idea i was just there cheering them on <laughs> but i will show you the process so as you guys know we don't really do homeschool downstairs anymore in our homeschool room <laughs> i know but the thing is we spend most of our day upstairs in the main living areas and the homeschool room is downstairs so it's just not a convenient space i'm in the kitchen baking doing sourdough bread preparing food like all day and i just needed to be closer to the kitchen closer to like my bedroom and the living room where the main things happen instead of constantly in the playroom slash homeschool room downstairs so the past year we have done the majority of our homeschool up stairs in the dining room and it has worked so great for us but our biggest problem with doing it up here is the lack of storage so we really needed some storage up here a place to put our homeschool bins i have like a buffet in the dining room but it's really not big enough and i have all of my china and serving dishes underneath that so there's really no room for homeschool stuff there and we needed places like for our markers and all of the books and we need some more room for a few toys a few like blocks and things like that that the kids are always bringing up here that we're always having to bring back down to the playroom that I really don't mind if it stays up here we just have no storage for it so that is the reason we built these shelves and I will show you guys give you a whole tour in a little bit but the main goal for today is to get these shelves styled I want to um, get everything on there I'm not going to have it perfectly set up for our school year I'll do that in a couple of weeks but right now I just kind of want to get it somewhat decorated and looking nice I also need to clean out the dining room it is a wreck right now we have so many like arts and crafts going on in there we have all of our books and things from last year that I have not cleared out yet I really need to go through all of the kids work from last year and file that stuff away um, go ahead and just sort through all of the papers and all of that so that's kind of my goal today is doing some of that you may see me in some different outfits because I did film some of this stuff on different days and I don't know how much I'm gonna get done today so I may try to do the rest of it tomorrow whatever I don't get done today but I wanted to bring you guys along for this because if you're like me you love these kind of videos and it's just fun to watch people get things organized and decluttered and all of that another thing I wanted to let you guys know is we are potty training we started yesterday so all of my kids when my dad left after he finished building these shelves my mom and dad left and took my three older kids with them they're gonna spend a few days with my parents and then they're gonna spend a few days with my sister so they are so excited about that I'm gonna miss them so bad it's already been really hard but we have my littlest one my three-year-old with us this week and I thought this will be a perfect time to potty train them I always like to potty train in the summertime so they can just run around naked my husband is is home in the mornings the next few days so I thought this will be a great time to do this so he is outside living his best life right now pottying on all of the things outside just loving life <laughs> I forgot how fun it is to potty train little boys and also how hard uh, but we are tackling that this week. So that is another reason I may not get to everything today is because eventually I've got to stop and take over the potty training once my husband leaves for work. But right now we are gonna try to get as much stuff as we can done. One other thing I wanted to mention is I have created a Bible curriculum for you guys for your morning time. It is called Morning Manna. It's releasing this Thursday, June 27th. So it will be available for download on my website. It will be a PDF download so you can just print it all out. It is a Bible study to teach your children biblical truths, to teach them theology. It is going to take you through a catechism that you can do with your kids to help them learn why they believe what they believe. It's gonna take you through scripture memory. It's going to have a ton of different passages throughout the Bible for you to teach your kids, like the armor of God, the Beatitudes, the 
books of the Bible. Psalms 23. So many awesome Bible passages are there for you to be able to memorize. It's honestly probably years of memory work that you can do with your kids. There's also a section in there on how to read the Bible with your kids and how we do Bible in our homeschool. So I plan to do a full video on this probably Thursday on how we do our Bible and uh, how Morning Manna works and all of that. So stay tuned for that. But if you want to be the first one to get to purchase Morning Manna, be sure you sign up for my email list because the people on my email list will know first when it's available and ready for purchase. So be sure that you sign up for that. The link is always in my description box. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. I have been working so, so hard on this for many, many weeks. And and it's it's coming together and it's just it's so cute it's visually just so appealing and I cannot wait for you guys to see it and use it in your homeschool so be sure to tune in Thursday for all of the details on that now let's go get organizing so we have this area in between our living room and our dining room right here where I really want to put a shelf it goes from floor to ceiling let me show you so this is where we homeschool this is our living room and so this is kind of a space in between where our fireplace is it's got really high ceilings the plan is to build a really tall shelf that's built in that goes all the way from the top to the bottom to house all of our homeschool supplies and other things that like books and some toys that we need to keep up here. So my dad is in town today and he's gonna be working on this for me. And so I'll try to document it as we go a little bit today and show you guys the process. But I'm really excited to have these shelves up here. We can get rid of like our morning cart and we can also get rid of all of the junk over there that is currently like our school books and things and we can move all of that right here. So I'm so excited.
gorgeous. The shelves are done. They look so beautiful. I spent all of yesterday staining them and putting some polycrylic on them and they are finally ready. Let me give you guys a closer look. So he put some trim pieces on the front to just make it look a little bit more decorative. I love how all of that turned out. They are just beautiful. I tried to match the stain with what we have over here on our fireplace. So I think I got it pretty close. I couldn't remember exactly what I had used on the fireplace mantle, but I think we got it pretty close. I'm really pleased with how they look. I had purchased these baskets from Ross a couple of weeks ago in the hopes that they would work right here. And so my dad kind of built the shelves custom to where those baskets would fit right there. And then I actually bought this basket for library books to put right there and I didn't even measure or anything, but it fits like perfectly so that was so funny that that worked out like that he also put like a little trim piece right here because of the gap that was between the brick and the shelf so that worked out really well too i am just loving these shelves they are super super sturdy and they are going to hold up really really great for us for our homeschool we couldn't take them all the way to the ceiling because the ceiling comes in a little bit at a slant right there so that would have been really complicated to try to get them to go all the way to the ceiling. So we left about a foot up at the top, which is gonna work out perfect because I can put like some plants up there or decorations. I've already got this cute little basket up there that I found at a thrift store for like $3 and it fits perfectly up there. So the stain I used on this was Special Walnut. I did one coat of that and then I did a coat of this stain called flagstone, which has a little bit of grayish brown in it and it kind of cuts the orange tones that Special Walnut has. And then I always put polycrylic over the top. So I did just two coats of a matte polycrylic. That combo has always worked great for me. I have stained and redone so many pieces of furniture and that's kind of like my tried and true go-to is that stain combination with the polycrylic. It works so well. Um, I'm gonna work now on trying to get these shelves all pretty and organized and figure out exactly what is going up here. As you can see, this dining room is a wreck. So many things happening here. I've got a whole basket of things I brought down from like my decor closet and also some things that I have picked up at a thrift store recently that I'm hoping will work on these shelves. And then some other things that I've got that I may use on the shelves. I'm trying to just kind of pull everything out, see what I've got, and then see what I want to go on the shelves. I've also got to get all of our morning cart stuff up on these shelves too, as well as our school bins over there. Those will go on the shelf too. I found these little paper holders at a thrift store the other day too. I've actually got another one downstairs by our printer. I may actually swap those out. So this one may go downstairs and the other one come upstairs because I think I like the other one better. I also bought four of these off of Amazon. They're just the sheet protectors. And my hope was to put our chore charts on the side right here. And I think it's gonna work out perfectly for that. I bought these from Hobby Lobby yesterday, so I think I'm just gonna attach these onto the side here, and that way they can be removable if I need them to be. Because the problem I'm having with the chore charts being downstairs is I don't remember what I wrote on the chore charts. And so the kids will be like, yeah, I did all my chores. But in actuality, they did not complete all of their chores. And I don't always feel like walking all the way downstairs to check it. So my thought was if they are up here, right here where everybody can see them all day long, it will make, make life so much easier and chores will stop being forgotten about. <laughs> I also have this globe. Y'all, I grew up with this globe in our house. So I was homeschooled and I remember my parents pulling this thing out all the time. My dad gifted it to my son a couple years ago and it's been in his room just way, way up high on a shelf where we never see it. And I'm going to put it on the homeschool shelves over here. It is going to fit perfectly. So I'm really excited about that. I put some rub and buff on there and it really just brightened up the gold. Really pretty. So I'm really pleased with how that turned out and it just kind of brought this old globe back to life.
y'all, I am so, so happy right now. I did not plan this. Like these are the bins we've used for our homeschool the last probably two or three years. They're from Target. I'll link them. They're the best bins. I just added like these little clips. They're from Amazon, but I did not plan this and they fit perfectly right there. You could put three on one shelf and that just like made my whole day. Like I'm so excited. Now I feel like I need like two more because I have some skinnier ones and I actually think Michael may get his own bin this year too. So I may grab a few more of those from Target because I love that those fit so well on these shelves and I can use them for so many different things. And I still have a bunch more of these little tags that I can use. My sister-in-law just made me some little labels for these with her Cricut. We love, love these bins. They have held up amazing. these from Hobby Lobby yesterday. They're $3 each. They're just like little shoe box storage or photo boxes, but I thought those might work great on these shelves to kind of hide some things and um, they'll stack really well. So I'm going to try that out on here and see. I'm not totally sure what I'm putting in these yet, but I'm going to sit them here with the plastic still on them in case I change my mind and want to take them back.
think I am done with it for today at least. <laughs> this is how it turned out. So over the top, I just have some really old books. That is a tip I have for you guys for decorating on a budget. Always look at thrift stores for really old books. These ones are just really old and I even sometimes will distress them with sandpaper to make them look even more old. And I use them all over my house for decorations and I spent literally pennies on them. And then we hung our little American flag right there because we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I have that piece of tape there because I think I'm going to put a picture there, but I got to find a frame first. I have just a little vase up there and a little basket. On this side, I just have a book and a pretty little plant that I had had already um, from Ikea, I believe is where I got that. And then at the top there, I just have a little basket. I think I'm gonna put things like, like magnet towels and lacing activities and just different little brain activities. I will swap those out in that basket every week for school time, mainly for Emmy and Michael, my two littlest ones. And then I have just a little flower vase that I already had and a candle I already had. And then that is our globe. And then down here we have some books. I plan to use this shelf mainly for books, so I may even move like that decoration, like those decor items later on. Um, and then I still only have used one of these. I think I'm just gonna put some art supplies in those, so I will finish stocking those. All of this whole shelf, I'm not done stocking yet. I will do that probably in an upcoming homeschool prep video, but um, I just kind of threw everything the way I thought I would probably want it. So I have this cute little print that says cast your cares on the Lord that came as part of that fill your cup bundle. And then I bought this at a thrift store forever ago. It's just a little school bell. I love it up here. And I just rub and buffed it actually and made it kind of come back to life. And then in this little basket, I'm gonna house things that we do for art, like glue and scissors and tape. And then you guys know my kids love to have their own little bin for their markers. And this worked well, so well last year. But inside here, these just are like little fo photo holders. You can get them at Michael's. So each one of them has their own one. It has markers and crayons and more markers and like gel pens and um, they even have like a little section in here for their personal glue and scissors but I think I'm going to get rid of that and just put all of that in that basket I just showed you guys. So then on the next shelf we have our all about reading binders and then I have just a drawing section and this is just mainly the draw right now books in there and then I also have one that's art and this is mainly um, the things that Emmy Grace uses while I'm doing school with the big kids. So it's like her coloring books and her little dry erase books and things like that. And then um, this little basket is going to have like our timers and then all of our dry erase markers and erasers and all of that. And then this is for our paper. So we have drawing paper, construction paper. I had I just stuck our little um, dry erase boards in here and our rulers and then under there is like writing paper and then these are the kids bins i still need to probably grab two more bins right there that are the same size as these and um, those bins will ha house like our morning time stuff and then our history and science stuff but um that's what i have so far and then in this bin is going to be all of my little three-year-old stuff that he's going to be doing during school time next year I like kinetic sand and I'll show you guys all of this in an upcoming prep video and then this basket's gonna hold, house all of my big boys um, books that they have they're like mainly like the DK books they love those books and we always have to keep them downstairs because they just take up so much room so I think I'm gonna let them put them all in this basket now so that will work out really well and then we just have our all about reading cards down there okay and then on the side right here is where I'm gonna put their chore chart so I hung those up I feel like it looks really great and one thing that I love about this new system because I used to have it downstairs if you've seen my chore video you know, I used to have it like Velcroed on like a frame. And although that works great, this is in my dining room. And I don't love that when we have guests, people are gonna be able to see all this. So the cool thing about it is when we have guests, all I have to do is pop it off and then I can just throw them over here 
or just put them wherever out of the way if I don't want people to see them. Honestly, I probably won't do that, but at least I have that as an option if I do want to do that. So yeah, guys, that is the homeschool shelves. I am loving it. So let me know below what you guys think. This dining room has been such a mess for such a long time. It feels so good to have it finally clean and organized and I finally get my buffet back. I have been wanting the homeschool stuff off of this for so long because I love to host people over here and I love to serve the food right there and I haven't been able to do that with all of our homeschool stuff there. So now I can do that again. So got everything cleaned and wiped down and then I did have to keep this here because we don't have an outlet on the homeschool shelves. So I'm gonna keep our pens, pencils, and our pencil sharpener right there. But I love how it all turned out. I went and got our school bins down from the boys closet and I wanted to show you guys this I show you it every year pretty much but this is how I file away all of our homeschool papers and I don't keep them all I keep maybe 10% but I have each child their own bin labeled and inside their bin is a file folder uh, according to their grade so this one's Gabe's he has all the different grades in here. I even went ahead and did them for the future back there. And so I just take about 10% of their work from the year and I file it in whatever grade that they completed for that year. And that is it, that is all I do. And it makes it really easy because that way when they go off and get married one day, they can just take this whole bin with them and it makes it super simple. I will probably weed out as the years go on because I feel like I'm gonna need more space, but I plan to just keep this bin only. So I'm not gonna add like another second bin. I'm just gonna take away stuff through the years so that this bin is not like overflowing and I feel like I have to get another bin. Okay. Now that that's all done, I need to go through all of these papers for the year. So I've got a big pile here of all of the things that we did through the year. This is like stuff from co-op, um, stuff from here, stuff, a few things from church. So it's school items, but also some of the memories from the year. And so I'm gonna sort these per child. And then when I'm done sorting them, I will go put them in those bins that I showed you guys. And then I'm also gonna go through, I have like a homeschool records uh, accordion folder right here that I keep all of our important documents and paperwork for each homeschool year in. And so I'm gonna um, file away the things that I need for like our records, for our state laws. And then I'm also gonna go through my teacher binder and pull out anything in here that I need to pull out, anything that I need to fill out. And that's gonna take me most of the rest of this day. Once that is done, then that will be it for this video. And I just wanted to go ahead and tell you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed what you saw. And be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys back here Thursday for another video. Thanks for watching. that was everything. I actually have all of these to go through too. According to your purpose for the good of those you call according to your plan where you are working, you are working for the good. Yeah, you are working, you are working. Working it out, working it out